So someone asked me, I, me I mentioned in a video, high leverage prayer. I can't remember the uh, video that I was talking about, but this is what I talk about high leverage prayer. Certain things, uh, and it's the easiest way to find out what high leverage prayer would be, would be to see, uh, I recommend to everyone, Dr. David R. Hawkins' work because he calibrates everything. So if you do uh, prayers calibrating at unconditional love, it'll be less than if you do prayers uh, in alignment with enlightenment or prayers in alignment with uh, the avatars. So high leverage prayer will dismantle the illusions very quickly uh, at the core. You're going for the jugular. Uh, you're not going to waste time uh, using uh, level using prayers in alignment with um, dualistic ideas at lower levels of consciousness. You know, you don't want the, the lowest level of enlightenment, you want the highest level. You don't even want the levels of unconditional love for the 12 steps because um, that's going to, that's not, that will take you so far, but it's not going to get you to enlightenment if you do the 12 steps. It's not going to be, it might take you to avatar. So, and that, when you start um, doing the things like uh, if you pray for enlightenment, if you pray to dissolve your addiction to the experiencer, uh, your addiction to thoughts, um, if you pray to surrender all payoff of the ego and being in separation, um, you see, th those, will, those will be the type of prayers going towards the level, you know, uh, if you pray to uh, pray, for, you know, to be in alignment and to have your life be an expression of the highest level of enlightenment and ask for inspiration uh, to do that. Now, that's quite easy. I mean, I'd be reading a book like I, Reality and Subjectivity and watching all of Hawkins' lectures on veritaspub.com. So you, you'd, you'd very, I mean, he's done it all and he's at that level with the highest level of enlightenment. So you'll be inspired very quickly what you need to pray to dissolve, you see, um, the addiction to the experiencer, the addiction to thoughts, uh, the, you know, uh, and so those type of things, you know, really get to the core uh, rather than, um, you know, you can, you can, I can cancel my belief in uh, um, a blocked nose. And uh, that will probably eventually clear my blocked nose, uh, but it won't uh, it will only take me so far because it's not a, what I'd call a high leverage prayer. It's uh, I'm suffering from this low level, this small thing, and I want to get rid of that before I'm going to do any high leverage prayers. So, um, and that depends. I mean, why would you do a high? Well, you'd have to first set your intention. What's your intention for this life? Is it to be get to unconditional love and salvation? Is it to get to bliss or to be a saint or to get to the first level of enlightenment or to get to be an avatar? So the, whatever you, you set your spiritual intent, which is critical, uh, then you'll automatically start gravitating to that level of consciousness, you see. So if you want to be like at the level of unconditional love and stop your addictions, the 12 steps would be great. If you want to get towards... Um, uh, very high love to the first level of enlightenment you can do the lessons from Course in Miracles. Um, if you want to be an avatar, you can study, um, you know, at the highest level of enlightenment, you can study like Hawkins. I mean, also Buddha and Je I mean, Jesus Christ didn't, you know, he was more, um, even though he was at the highest level, he was more a savior in the context of the context of the time he was in and the people he's speaking to. So, um, so yes, yeah, so high level prayer. Um, the, what's the positives? R rather than settling for a life of moderate level prayer, leverage prayer, um, you know, for me, I mean, I can share with myself. I mean, I'd rather go for the highest levels, uh, highest leverage, get rid of all this stuff. Um, like I often share, um, I like what Buddha said. You know, it's like um, my fate is going to be old age, suffering and death and reincarnating over and over again. The only way I'm going to be free of that is enlightenment. Then I break the birth, the recycle, the recycling of, you know, being born again and born again and born again. So I want to go for enlightenment um, or at, at least at minimum, I take Jesus Christ's advice. 
trust Jesus Christ as your saviour, forgive uh, and love your neighbour and trust uh, Jesus Christ. And that will give you salvation, entry into heaven. So you don't necessarily have to come back to this place. So, um, so anyway, so uh, high leverage prayer. Yeah. So that for me, it's like I want to I want to make as much progress in this lifetime as possible. But of course, the outcome I, I surrender because that's not my remit to control from the level of my ego. Okay. I'll, I'm going to press. Um, 